I'm Hilary Heidi, a producer at BioWare. Let's take a closer look at the mage build we featured at the recent State of Play. I call this build the Dragon Killer because my gear and skills have been optimized to take on a powerful boss, this Ice Dragon. As a mage, I can switch between two weapon sets, a staff for ranged attacks or an elemental orb and dagger for close quarters combat. I'm facing off against an Ice Dragon, which is vulnerable to fire so I've equipped Earthemiral's Ash as my elemental orb. It reduces enemy damage, makes burning last longer and do more damage, and increases the cap on burning stacks. My dagger, Thorn of Misfortune, gives me access to the physical damage type and synergizes with my affliction-based build, increasing the damage of arcane bombs, which I build up with repeated orb attacks. I've further powered up my afflictions by equipping this Death Mask, which will give me a nice damage boost. You'll notice my armor set looks a bit different than the icon. That's because I'm making use of the game's transmog system to set my appearance to this Tevinter Mage robe I purchased in Docktown. Let's switch over to my character's skill tree, where I've further enhanced my ability to take on this Ice Dragon. Elemental Catalyst gives my abilities plus 15% bonus damage, in this case, fire damage, since both my staff and orb are fire-based. Inner Focus generates 25% extra mana from successful light attacks, and that number is doubled against enemies suffering from an affliction, like burning. So each time I attack my burning enemies, I'll generate 50% extra mana, allowing me to cast powerful spells like Meteor more often. Let's take a look at some additional skills I've unlocked by choosing a specialization for my Rook. In this case, Spellblade, which blends magic and melee. With the Electrical Burns passive, my fire attacks stack even more afflictions on my targets, applying the Shocked Affliction whenever I apply Burning, and vice versa. And finally, my Spellblade Ultimate ability, Thunderous End, unleashes a massive amount of damage, shocking enemies in a wide radius perfect against a large target like a dragon. Let's return to our battle with the Ice Dragon to talk about synergies and combos. Here I've got the dragon staggered. This is my opportunity to deal as much damage as possible while it's down. Detonations are a great way to do this. A detonation can be set up with Lucanus's Debilitate ability, which applies the Sundered status, followed by Rook's Dark Squall, which detonates Sundered targets. I'll follow this up with Tasha's Fire Breath to apply burning damage. Normally, I'd have to wait for my companions to cool down before I could use their abilities for another combo. But I've got a secret weapon up my sleeve, the Dreadwolf's Lyrium Dagger. My dagger is equipped with three runes. I'll toggle to the Regroup Rune and activate it, instantly refreshing my companion cooldowns. With my companion's full suite of abilities available, Let's finish this thing. I'll once again use Lucanus's Debilitate to set up a detonation, and this time I'll trigger it with my Meteor Attack, all while Tasha's Fire Breath keeps the dragon burning. And I'll finish the job with my powerful ultimate ability, Thunderous End.